Today marks like the first day I've worn like real, real lipstick in a hot minute. And uh, I love it. By the way, I'm wearing the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Click. And it's like pink, but it's like a deeper, but still bright pink. It's kind of cool. I didn't need a liner with it, like a lip liner, because I just, I don't know, I just use this. The reason I'm wearing lipstick is because I wanted to. <laughs> It just stings, doesn't it? Like, I want to be able to wear lipstick, but obviously I'm wearing a mask when I leave the house. So why, you know, the lipstick's just going to get everywhere. That is the brownest bird. It was like a deep, almost red brown. I am all over the place. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've like sat down and just chatted with y'all. We're going to do some empties today. I'm trying to do this a little more often so I don't have like 50 things to talk about. So we've got still a lot to talk about, but... Some skincare, I actually have a decent amount of makeup I used up, which, which is a really big deal to me because I've been trying to be more cognizant of using what I have. I don't need 18 foundations, even though I definitely have like 18 foundations right now. So it's exciting that I'm actually like using things up. Plus you guys can really see what I'm loving, loving, loving so much that I'm using it up. But it's quite a mix. We've got some house stuff, laundry stuff, hair stuff, shower stuff, skincare. Let's dive in. Oh, and side note, this dress is from Amazon. I want one in every color. I just bought it, so I'm sure it's still available, but it's just like comfy and stretchy and cinched in at the waist. They had this, and then they had black and white, and I love it. I can link it below. Let's start with makeup, because I feel like that is exciting. <laughs> I haven't used up a regular concealer in a long time. This is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I cannot get any more out. I might try to get the little stopper out of there. What do you use, like tweezers to get it out? And see if I can get a little bit more, but I, loved this concealer. Now, currently I'm loving yet another high-end concealer, the Shiseido Synchro Skin. That's what I'm wearing today. That stuff is gorgeous. This is maybe slightly more hydrating than that. It's a little bit thicker, but I love them both. I would totally buy this again. I probably will eventually buy it again because I kind of miss having it. This was like my go-to every single day concealer. So love it. I think the packaging is really cute, like a little pencil and Highly recommend. What else, what else, what else? So I also used up the Revlon Colorstay Micro Eyeliner. This is one that's like a 1.5 millimeter teeny tiny eyeliner. That's really great for if you're doing a really thin line or you just wanna darken the area between your lashes. This is fantastic. I've never, I don't really typically wear liner on my waterline. I have been asked if this would stay. I don't know if I'm being honest. So if you have used this and you know, please let us know in the comments and we can kind of thumbs it up so it makes its way to the top. Is it thumbsing up on YouTube? Yeah, right? Like liking it? Anyway, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be all over the place today, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> But I love this. I've already repurchased. It's fantastic. This is the black one. I also, I'm currently, I have the brown one. They're both great. I could just toggle between the two. If you're using it every day, I do think you run through it quickly, but I get it on sale and I just, it's so fantastic. It is a dupe for my Hourglass 1.5 millimeter liner that I've loved for years. But same thing, that's like double the price and I go through it just as fast. So I'm so excited to have a drugstore dupe for it. Shameless plug, I do have a drugstore dupes video coming up here in the next month, I would say. But I did recently put up a big drugstore dupes video just a few months ago. So I can link that in the I am below if you missed it because I found some killer drugstore dupes. Another thing, I probably have a couple more uses. I figured I'd mention it today, but I'm gonna try to cut it and like get it out of there, you know? But this is the Misha BB Cream. They're perfect to cover BB Cream, my favorite. Holy Grail, I have bought so many of these. I did find them, I don't know if the deal is still going on, but on Costco.com they had a two pack where it was like two of them for like the price of one. I did buy that. I wear the shade number 23. The shade range is awful. It is very hard to find a color for everyone. It's it's very, very limited. I heard they're releasing new shades. I don't know if that means they're truly reformulating it. That scares me. I'm like, please just keep the same formula. But that's exciting. It's about freaking time that they did. And so I'm excited to see what that looks like. I think they said there's gonna be new packaging too, which is good because I like, I hope it's still a squeezy tube with the pump. It's great because you can get like every drop out of it. But I don't love like the, Brick red, I don't know. That's the shallow part of me just bubbling up, you know? Let's dive into a candle. Okay, if you guys haven't tried these candles, I don't know that I've talked about them yet on Instagram, YouTube, what am I, 
on y y Instagram. It's the Hearth and Hand line. It's the like Magnolia candle line at Target. You can get them online, you can get them in store. This is the sea salt and lavender. There's another scent I like better than this that I didn't save, I've used that up too. This is down in our downstairs bathroom so we can light it like if we know someone's coming over or something like that. And it just, they smell so nice, they're really pretty. Like I love this kind of brown, what is this called, medicine glass? That's not what it's called, is it? I think it's so pretty, the label is pretty, so just on its own, it's almost a decorative piece, but then it also is a really great candle that smells amazing. These are made from soy, and like I said, I have not, when I was in store smelling them quite a while ago, all of them smell so good, so highly recommend. They're a little pricey for like the size they are, but they're lovely, you guys, they're just lovely. So I have repurchased, I already have like two more like on backup for that, you know. Random laundry one, but I've actually replaced this with something different. I had noticed I've been using this Method fabric softener for a while and their fragrance beads, and I've loved it, I've highly recommended it on my channel, but I was noticing all of our clothes are like fading like crazy, more than they used to, I feel like a few years ago when we were not using this. So I started using a Snuggle one, it's already made making a difference in like how our clothes look and feel. And so I'm excited to have kind of made a switch. We'll see if I ever go back to this, I don't know. I do love the scent of it. That's what kills me. I think this smells amazing. Our clothes smell amazing, but this other stuff is so much better. So if you're curious, I can link the specific snuggle ones we're using below. But here in a few weeks, I'm doing like a working from home cleaning routine. And I am, I was planning it out and scripting it out and I'm so excited about it. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Let's do a little skincare. One of my favorite, favorite, favorites. I've run out of and I really am missing it is the Polish Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. I'm working on like a product regrets video and I tried the another Polish Choice SPF and I hated it. Hated it. Let me let me just show it to you. It's the Youth Extending SPF 50. Didn't like it. I it's lit. This is literally full. It is in the little bin for regrets like I said, but this one has a little bit of a beige tint to it. It's got antioxidants, resveratrol, really good skincare, but it's also your SPF for the day. So I use this as my moisturizer and SPF and skincare all in one. Looks amazing under makeup. I'll wear it alone and it kind of has a little bit of coverage. It's, guys, it is the best. I've got my Super Goop one that's really good. I've got a Murad one I'm trying, but this is just my favorite, man. My sister-in-law was telling me she uses the CeraVe tinted one, and I definitely wanna find that. Every time I look for it in the store, it's sold out. So I'm like, dang, but she loves it and swears by it. So that might be kind of next on my list because I feel like it's gotta be pretty similar to this because it's tinted, it's got the SPF and good skincare. Stay tuned, I'll have to keep you posted. Everyone asks how I keep my teeth white. You know, it's funny, and thank you to anyone. I mean, that's a huge compliment. I don't feel like they're that white. Now, lighting helps and stuff, and they look whiter like with a lipstick like this on. Regardless, I do think this makes a huge difference. This is the Crest 3D White, but it's their stain eraser. Again, kind of pricey for the small amount you get, but I've bought this, this is probably the third or fourth tube I've gone through, and I hadn't been using like a whitening program, I haven't been using whitening mouthwash because of the Invisalign, I was just kind of waiting, and this has made a huge difference. So highly recommend, I'm already, honestly, I'm already like halfway through my next one. Next is from Fresh, and this is their Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This was sent to me a while ago. I just, the smell is like cucumber, and I, it, I'm, don't like it, okay? Cucumber just makes me sick. It's a childhood thing. I shared a room with my sister who used far too much Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon Lotion. Y'all remember it? Here's a picture. She used that all the time and it just like ruined me for life. It's a scar, it's a deep, deep scar on my nose. I would never like buy this on my own. I wouldn't use it again. I didn't love their uh, cleanser, the like soy face cleanser everyone loves. Again, I didn't love the smell of it. So that's something for me, it really, I just can't get past it. So I used it up. I thought it was a nice moisturizer. It blended in nicely. Not one I was a huge fan of, wouldn't buy again. Well, I guess I didn't buy it in the first place, but you know what I mean. I enjoyed, but I have a one I like more. This is the Polish Choice Omega Plus Complex Eye Cream. I've really enjoyed Polish Choice's Omega line. If you're wanting to dive into the Polish Choice, my two favorite lines from them are their Resist line, which is great anti-aging, and their Omega line, which has great skincare. I mean, it's all good skincare. But if you're like, on their site and you're like, where do I begin? Those are the two lines I recommend to everyone that asks. Their Omega Moisturizer is lovely. That is one of my favorites. 
But anyway, eye cream wise, I like Paula's Choice's retinol cream. I can link below. That one is so much better as an eye cream and it's it's just a beaut- I'm buying that one again. Like that is on my list. It's so good. Oh, I used up. I don't know why I saved the packaging, but here we are. The AOA Studio Paw Paw Blender. It's my favorite sponge. It's like $1.50 on the Shop Miss A site. You do have to wait a while to get it in the mail, like a few weeks. Like I ordered six of them and that was that. And then a few weeks later, I've got like plenty to last me a year, you know? Okay, so I, I always get questions ever since I did a video last summer of like my first time going to a dermatologist and you know, having moles checked. I had a few moles removed and she told me that I had what I suspected I had and she confirmed it is keratosis pilaris, which is called KP. A lot of people just call it KP. Basically, it's just like little bumps, roughness, little red bumps sometimes that can appear on your legs, on your arms that a lot of people have. It's pretty common. It's not like it's necessarily itchy or anything like that. It's just there. And so she recommended amlactin lotion. She recommended, you know, maybe doing a KP body scrub. So I tried the Derma Doctor KP duty. I thought it was fine. If I'm being honest, you guys, I really didn't keep up with this product. Like I didn't use this every time I showered. I didn't use amlactin every single time. But what I did do every time I showered was I used a dry brush and I used like a body oil, like a Neutrogena fragrance free body oil after my shower. And that cleared it up more than anything. It's not perfect. It's still there. I have self tanner on. Don't make fun of my elbows, okay? And also my face is totally paler than the rest of my, oh, Jessie girl. I feel like that helped more than anything. And so I wouldn't buy this again. It also had a really strong smell, which is probably what's actually working in there. But y'all, it is strong and it is not pleasant. So just be aware. And it's like 40 bucks. This is an expensive product. So I wouldn't buy it again. If you've got KP and you're like, you know you would use the scrub every day, maybe it's worth trying if you've tried other stuff and it hasn't worked, but I just wasn't a fan. Realizing I have a lot of things I did not like this round, but I was like forcing myself to use up. This um, I bought because they were sold out of my favorite shaving oil. This is the Gillette Venus Pure Shave Cream. It's got shea butter, it's Manuka honey and vanilla. It smelled great. I couldn't get this to stay on my legs to shave it. Like I would get it out and rub it between and try to rub it on and it would just glop around and then it would gum up my razor and I was like, oh my gosh. I hated every second of using this even though it smelled amazing. So big old bummer. I wouldn't buy it again. It looks pretty though, right? Yeah, my favorite shave oil is the one from Tree Hut, I think is the brand. Um, and I finally got my hands on one again and I'm like, thank you. One I liked, I, I could see myself buying again, but I like trying different body washes. This is the Shea Moisture Velvet Skin Body Wash. It got all weird. Actually, I think my shave oil got on it when I first had this in there. But um, it was just nice. It was, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't have an overly strong smell or anything like that. It was fine. I just, it was fine, you know? Shea Moisture typically has good ingredients. It leaves out a lot of gunky ingredients, which is nice too. A product by Shea Moisture, however, I hated, and I kept trying, to force myself to use. And finally, the other day I was like, I can't, I just can't do it. It's their Peace Rose Oil Nourish and Silken Shampoo and Conditioner. It smells so strongly of actual rose petals. Oh, I, I just can't do it. It's, it's, it's too rosy, if that makes sense. I still use Function of Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner, so I just, I like how my hair looks with that better. It smells way better. It's more tailored to what I like. This isn't sponsored. I've been sponsored by them in the past, but I like that so much better. And so this, I'm just like, I, I can't do it. I just gotta get rid of it. Um, I liked this. I just used it up last night. This is the Amlactin Foot Repair Foot Cream Therapy. I love putting on a foot cream at night. I'll usually, whatever I put on my feet, I'll just throw on my hands as well. Cause it's good for all of that. And so it's supposed to smooth, rough and dry feet. I do think it did a good job. I just prefer the CeraVe one. Used up the Old Spice Wolfthorn deodorant. I now have one that actually, it's still a men's deodorant. It's aluminum free, it smells amazing. I don't think it works as well as this. It's got like vanilla scents and this one has a little bit left. It smells really nice, but honestly, I've had this for forever. It was like starting to change color and I was like, uh. I don't know, man. I just feel like the Old Spice deodorants, not the antiperspirant deodorants, just the deodorants. You can find some that smells so good and they work better than like natural deodorants I've tried and yet they're still aluminum free. So anyway, some self tanners I used up. I tried this Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. Basically you can either leave it on for one, two or three hours and three hours is gonna be the darkest. Then you rinse off like the kind of color guard that's on there. It was fine. I just prefer the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express. This is my favorite self tanner. I feel like I keep trying other ones and I always over the past, what, four years, five years, I've always gone back to this one because it's the best one. I like the 2 Hour Express better than their like regular mousse because it does it quickly. It looks pretty natural. I had it on the other day and I hadn't even rinsed it off because we just had to go. 
And so it was just like developing through the day and I was like, oh, I hope it doesn't look crazy. It looked great and my mom was like, you use like some kind of like tanning lotion or something? I'm like, yeah, is this? And I was trying to explain it to her and she said, well, it doesn't look orange. I'm like, I know mom, I'm like, the times have changed. Like self tanning stuff has gotten really good and this is my favorite, 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 favorite one. I think that's everything. If you are loving empties videos and you're wanting to watch more, I can link my empties playlist. I do them every month or two. And so my most recent one was not that long ago and I still of course stand by everything I said. So I can link that up in the eye and down below if you want to binge some of them. I'd love to say hey to you over on my Instagram. It is at it's Jessica Braun. I post Insta stories over there of what's going on in my life, what I'm doing, things I'm using, products I'm loving. And if you did enjoy, I'd love to have you join our happy little corner of the internet by subscribing. I I upload three videos a week, lifestyle, beauty, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. I'd love to have you. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.